All right, hey everyone, let's have a look at this one. This is all about these allow and deny blocks. So this video is kind of more specifically around um, some of the features that are specific to Minecraft Education Edition. So allow and deny blocks are really, I mean, students can use them, but they're especially fall into that place for if you're one of those people that are creating your own worlds for lessons, these can kind of help to guide where you do and don't want things to be placed or destroyed. And so let's have a look. So we've got a kind of a basic little structure here and this world's actually built off the same ideas. So the easiest way to get these blocks is two options is we go into the inventory and we just start writing um, allow and then that's our allow block. Let's bring that down. And then obviously if we want a, um, a deny block, that comes down as well. So there are our two blocks. If you're used to your slash commands, of course, you can uh, press T or enter on your keyboard for slash um, and then start writing, uh, give at self and then allow. And then there it is there. So there's your allow block and you can do the same thing. It will give you that block. So they will kind of place down just like um, any other ordinary block, but one of the first things you're going to have to do is become a world builder. So to become a world builder, we jump back into that chat area that we were before. So enter or T on your keyboard. Um, and then we can go forward slash and it's just WB. So WB for world builder. We place that in and then all of a sudden what you'll notice is you should be now allowed, ironically, to place these blocks down. And so if we just do, you know, a, a row there of allow blocks, and then I'm going to switch here and do a row of deny blocks, what's going to happen is when students use these, they'll have permissions based on what they can and can't place there. Now, when you're a world builder, you can do pretty much anything in regards to the destroying and placing of blocks. So let's pretend that, you know, we're a student. So I'm going to take away my world building privileges because I want to replicate what a student would experience coming in. So again, so forward slash WB, so that will make that false. And so let's say I'm um, about to create, so, I, you know, I come back in here and let's just grab this oak wood planks, pop them in my inventory. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them down. So that there, the brown one is our allow block, but this one here is our deny block. And so you can see how it won't let me do that. And so I'm kind of only allowed to place inside that space. And basically, let's say you went to all this effort of, of building a structure. Um, let's say that I had kind of, you might, cause you, often you'll forget about it as I might, let's just, build something really, really basic. And let's say this was this amazing house. So I'm just going to draw like the base of a tiny, let's say a tiny shed. There it is there. And it forms part of your lesson or part of your story. But when the students come in, you want, you don't want them to be able to destroy it. If you've already built it, all you'll have to do is again, make sure that you're a world builder. So forward slash WB, and then you'll just have to kind of come down underneath here. And you're just going to make sure that they are placed. Now you can kind of go one under. So like, I guess in a way we're saying that the students don't even know it's there. So if I'm going to drop down here, I'm not going to do all of it because you'll get the idea. So I grab my deny block like so. So there's kind of like, um, it's just that corner there that I've done. And so all of this, the way that this world is actually set up, and I'll show you before we finish, because this world is kind of specifically designed in that way. And even if I just kind of place these here, they'll still have the same effect. Is that when I go back to be that student, so we know this corner that I've done, is that even if I come here, I can't destroy those blocks as a student. But over here, where I haven't put any deny blocks, I can. Okay, so they can go. These ones are safe. Okay, but those ones aren't because I've only got those two there. Equally here, because there's deny blocks underneath there, I can't get rid of them. But these ones I can. 
And so if you want to kind of see how that works on a slightly um, larger scale, let's go back to World Builder so I can show you. This here is part of the, um, the Build Plates platforms um, that you can use with your students. And you can see here that the students, there's a whole layer of allow blocks that sits under here, which basically means that these students can build on all of this white space above it. But then just to, you know, as kind of a safety measure, we have these deny blocks that go around it because I don't want the, build, the students building outside of that space that is specifically set up in that way. Anyway, allow and deny blocks, super cool. They're my, the deny ones for me are probably more important because I'll go to a lot of effort of building something um, that I don't want them to be able to destroy. Um, and equally also for students. So they'll build and create something and then they want to share it with other students. Um, and if they put those, that layer of deny blocks underneath, their structure will stay nice and safe. Anyway, I hope you found that super helpful and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.